Tracy from St Pins My Nails. I'm going to show you three plates that I've recently purchased from Messy Mansion. I've got the butterfly plate here, which is plate MM42. It's a really pretty plate. I have the paisley plate, which is plate MM48. Another pretty plate, and I couldn't resist getting this lace plate, which is plate MM56. So I'm going to unpackage the, this plate as I'm going to use this to create a manicure over my current polish. At the moment, I'm wearing this OPI polish which is beautiful. Today I accomplished zero. And this is from the Coca-Cola collection, which came out in 2014. It's a really nice black jelly base with sort of red, the muted red um, glitters in it. So I'm just going to get set up for stamping and I'll be back. The Messy Mansion plates come in this plastic uh, wrapping. They don't have any protective sort of plastic or paper on the back. So I'm just going to open this and remove the blue film so that I can stamp with it. So this is a plate, I just have to handle it pretty carefully because it's quite sharp along the rim. Now I really don't want to cut myself. Usually when I'm taking off the blue film, I use an orange wood stick. And I use the pointed end just to create a bit of an edge. So this is the plate minus the packaging. It's got some gorgeous images on it. I particularly like this one because it's quite a large image. I love this image. I don't have anything else like this one on any of my other plates. I also really like this image here and also this one here. It's a really pretty plate. So I shall start stamping using this one. So to stamp today, I have the NM56 lace plate. I'll be using Mundo de Unas white. And I'll be using my Magno Nails stamper. So first of all, I'm just going to stamp over um, my current manicure. I'm torn between two images on this plate, whether to use this image or this image. So I will Start off with the one in the middle and see how that goes. with this plate already is I've just tried to pick up an image of this um, pattern here and it wasn't centered properly so I tried to clean the plate 
I used this, which is a jewelry, um, I don't know, gem picker with a little prong at the end, and I used a cotton round like a cotton pad. That was just not working for that. So I switched to my cotton claw, my ASP cotton claw, which is the same as the jewellery one, but it's got a more robust sort of claw action at the end. Oops, trying to break my glass table. So there's jewellery claw and there's the cotton claw, so they're different. This one's a lot thinner and a bit more flimsy than this one, but they still work okay, both of them. But anyway, I used that with a cotton round, absolutely drenched in, in acetone. And that just made, oh my goodness, I just had loads and loads and loads of fluff on the plate. So yeah, that wasn't working either. So I switched to some good old fashioned kitchen paper, which I then soaked in acetone and literally got it, it's ripped the paper to shreds, but it did get it clean. So this is what I'll be using to clean that plate because it's etched so deeply. And I found the same actually when I used this plate, I used this image and that ripped the cotton on the cotton claw to shreds. So I think, so I think it's fair to say that the etching is so deep that you have to be a bit creative with cleaning the plates in between. Um, applying the stamping polish. But anyway, I'm going to try again. So let's see how it goes. those nails now. I'm just going to stamp the thumb and clean that up and finish cleaning up around there with a the brush and acetone and I'll be right back.
Hi, so I'm back now. I've finished uh, the stamping. I've stamped both hands using the white window dimmerness, which I've stamped over day I accomplished zero. I really like how it turned out actually. I'm quite surprised because when I was doing it I was thinking, mm, not too sure about this, but actually, yeah, it's not too bad. Now, my thoughts on this plate, and I actually just nearly cut my finger. Um, first things first, it is, as you can, as you can see, really beautiful. Um, I've managed to clean it up okay. After stamping, I've used white Mundo Dionis, and I, I've used red Mundo Dionis and black as well and a couple of other polishes, um, sinful colours and a Sally Hansen polish as well. So it's cleaned up all right. I used um, acetone initially to clean the plate and then I switched to using alcohol to remove the Mundo Duenas, which worked better. It seems to cut through um, that polish much better and cleans it a lot easier. I found that because of the etching and because it's so crisp and so deep that it's easier just to clean the plate with one swipe of the kitchen towel instead of multiple um, sort of rubbing in a circular motion which is what I would normally do. That really was not working out because it was just ending up with loads and loads of bits of fluff no matter what I used so just sort of bear that in mind when cleaning the plate. Like I said you have to be a little bit creative and try a few different options. I mean, maybe even using fabric or something like that. I don't know if that would help, but yeah, that was gonna be my next option. Anyway, other than that, the images pick up really nicely. Here are a few sort of test images that I did. Let's see if I can line that up for you. So if I do a close up there, that is stamping images of all of the um, motifs on the plate. I've used Mundo Dinas Black as a stamping polish and I've used my Magno Nails stamper to pick those images up. They all picked up perfectly first time. This image here is using um, the, obviously the same plate but I've used Sally Hansen Gone Grey and on this side I've used Sinful Colours, Let's Talk. So it picks up stamping polishes, regular polishes and drugstore pound brand polishes. So yeah, really, really happy with that. So to sum up, this is a great plate. I love the images on it, especially like I said, this one because I don't have anything else like it and this one as well. Um, this looks really nice and I think it would make a great alternative to a French manicure, but I've done something a little bit different with it today because of the base polish that I was wearing anyway. Um, in summarise, to summarise this plate, I think it's really, really lovely. It's excellent quality. The etching is perfect. It picks up excellently each time, even though I've got quite a lot of lace plates i will be using this one and revisiting it many times i'm sure um i hope you've enjoyed this video sorry it's been quite a while since my last one but i've been mad busy at work the office has been crazy so hopefully it won't be so long before i get to um, post another video i've got some time off so i'm going to try and do a few over the next couple of days and get those um uploaded for you to all see so that brings to an end my review of the Messy Mansion MM56 plate, which I purchased with my own money. I hope you enjoyed the video and felt that that was helpful if you're thinking about buying that plate. And I hope to speak to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.